Welcome to another episode of GCF Iloilo Kids Church Online. To all amazing mothers out there, Happy Mother's Day! As we start today's worship, come join us in singing. Enjoy singing the song with your friends? I did too! As we continue, let us ask the Lord's blessing and thank Him for all the things He gave us. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, thank you again for this Sunday. Thank you for your provision, for your guidance and protection. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe every day. We continue to pray for our frontliners, for our president, for our mayor, and other leaders of the country. May you keep them safe and give them wisdom. Lord, bless us today as we learn more of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, kids. I'd like you to meet my friends. John and Carol. Hi, John. Hi, Carol. Hello. Hello. I'm so glad you could join us in today's Kids Church. Hi, Miss Mira. What 
beautiful decorations you have. What's so special about today? Indeed, Carol, today is special. It's Mother's Day. We thank the Lord for mothers. Mothers are a blessing to all of us. Because it's your first time here in Kids Church, I have a surprise for you. This is a special gift for the two of you. Oh, wow! I'm so excited! Thank you, Miss. I like surprises. I like gifts. Thank you so much. You're welcome, John and Carol. Listen attentively to my Bible lesson that I will give in a while. What about you kids? Do you like to receive a gift? Do you know that there is a special gift God has given us? We call them mothers. Some children call them nanai. Others call them mama or mommy. Parents are gifts from God to help kids. Do you know of a woman in your life that has spent more time helping you than any other person? Your mom, right? Do you know of somebody who took care of you when you had fever or a toothache, a stomachache? or at times you didn't feel well. Your mom, right? Today we're going to learn what kind of attitude God wants us to have toward our parents. This is true for moms and dads and foster parents or grandparents who took care of you but we are going to talk a lot about moms today because it's Mother's Day. I'm going to read from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. God's Word says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. Ephesians 6, 1 and 2. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother. Take note, whenever you encounter a verse, I mean a verb or action word from the passage, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. There are two action words from this passage. Can you recognize them? Yes, it's obey and honor. These are two actions i want you to learn because these two are the attitudes we need to have towards our parents it's obey again it's obey and honor let's discuss it one by one what does obey mean obey means doing what a person wants you to do God commands that children obey their parents. Whenever your mom would ask you to gather your toys after playing with them, you have to gather and put it back where it belongs. If your mom would tell you to stop playing with your gadgets, because you need to study or read or do some chores, then you obey immediately. 
Obey without delay. Obey without grumbling. Aside from obeying, we also have to honor our moms. What does honor mean? Honor means having a right attitude about someone and showing their importance in how you act. How then should we honor our parents? By taking the chance to thank for the sacrifices she did. Can you imagine how difficult it would be to carry you nine months in your mommy's tummy and she is making sure you are healthy and you are safe in there. So you better thank your moms. Another way of honoring your mom is by appreciating her. You know, moms do all kinds of things we take for granted. How many of you groan when you see vegetables on the table because you see it every day? When we eat the same thing every day, it gets old. We get bored of it. And we want something new. It's easy to lose sight that cooking means something. It means that in your home, there is a mom who loves you enough to make you vegetables and feed you every day. Being a mom is a full-time job. That does not mean 40 hours a week, like most full-time jobs. It means 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Important of all, those reassuring hugs when we need it. Wow. Moms gives those hugs, right? Moms do so much for us. We simply don't have time to list it all. They teach us how to sit up, roll over, stand up, walk, talk, feed ourselves, and dress ourselves. They teach us to use manners and share with others. They provide us with food and clothing and medicine and toys and sometimes most important of all, the hugs when we need it. Here's another way to honor your mom. Take action. Do something to show her how much you appreciate her. I don't mean buying gifts and cards and flowers. Do something around the house. Do one of her jobs so she can have a break. You can help with the dishes or by setting the table or by sweeping the floor. You are a big help if you put your toys back where it belongs. Moms sacrifice for the kids all the time. All of us can sacrifice a little time and a little hard work for mom, right? Moms are special ladies. They are a gift from God and they will always be there for us. Kids, to all boys and girls, let your mom know you love her every day, in words, in action. Let's all remember to say, I love you every day 
of the year. So kids, what again are those two attitudes we should have towards our moms according to Ephesians 6, 1 and 2? Yes, it's obey and honor. Can you recite with me again? Ephesians 6, 1 and 2. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother. Ephesians 6, 1 and 2. That ends today's lesson. I hope you will not be hearers only, but doers. So kids, take action. John and Carol will join us as we review today's lesson. John and Carol, are you ready? Yes, miss. Good. I will say a statement. Raise your hand and tell me. Not yet. <laughs> Excited? Raise your hand and tell me if the statement is right or wrong. You got it? Yes, yes miss. Okay. Now, first statement. You kids can join us. If you think the statement is right, you say, you do this, a thumbs up, okay? If the statement is wrong, you do this, okay? You got it, kids? Good job. Now, first statement. Doing what mom says right away. Okay, I think me, Carol me, raised me. her hand first. True! Okay, very good, Carol. You're so smart. Next statement. Throwing a fist if you don't get what you want. <laughs> okay, John, what's your answer? False. Okay, it's wrong to throw a fist if you don't get what you want. Good answer, John. Next statement. Eating your dinner with thankfulness. Me, me, me. Okay, Carol, what's your answer? Uh, uh, true. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Right answer. Now the score is, Carol has a score of two and John, one. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Next. Complaining about what mom cooked for dinner. <laughs> okay, I'll give the chance to John. What's your answer, John? Uh, true. Okay. Yes. The statement is true or correct. Okay, thank you. Next, next. You better watch out. Telling mom that you love her. <laughs> okay, okay. Carol, what's your answer? It's true. All right, very good, Carol. Now, next statement. Praying for your mom. <laughs> Okay, John, I know you can do this. Uh, uh, is, is it true? Yes, you got it right, John. Yes. Very good. Right. Okay, next and the last statement. Telling other people your mom is not nice. Me! <laughs> okay, Me. Carol, what's your answer? Uh, Okay, it's a wrong thing to do to tell others yeah, about your mom that is not nice. Good answer, Carol. Yeah. What about you kids? You had fun? Are all your answers correct? 
Good job. Thank you, kids. I hope you all had fun as we review today's lesson. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you, John. Bye. Thank you, Carol. Are you ready for craft time, kids? Me too! It's craft time! Ka -ha. Hello, kids! Welcome back to our craft time! Thank you very much for joining us every week! We are very happy because you are sharing our photos and videos online. Check this out! until the glue will dry. Now we will put something in our house. So using your buttons, you put some glue here. One, two, one. If you don't have buttons at home, you can use some stickers or pearls or you can draw. Okay, then you need to paste them one by one. Buttons, or I choose different colors of buttons. I have here some pearls that you can use to design your house. Also, Look at this! These are cute buttons. Then, we will make a heart. Fold it in the middle and using your scissors, you need to cut like this one. Make sure to ask your moms and dads to help you and make sure it's not too big. Oh, my heart is perfect. Then, you can write Nanai. Some of us calls our nanai like mama or mommy, moms. Next, we need to glue the house in your cardboard. Okay, so you will use your glue. Make sure to put a lot to hold the house. Okay. Make sure to put space in the bottom, like this. Okay. 
let it dry. Then you need to put your heart in the middle. Again, use your glue. Put it in the middle like this. Wow. Okay. Cut. When you're done, you need to put something. Okay, so using your pen, you will write. Now let's put some more messages for our mom. So we can write home is where Nanai or mommy or mama or mom is. You can make your own decorations and you can put something more like more buttons, uh, stickers, you can draw something like flowers here. If you have shells at home or small pebbles or stones. Lastly, we will use, then lastly, we need to use our string and tie this here, insert your string and tie your string like this okay then you can choose some place to hang I've also made some samples for you to follow like I've used some pearls and diamonds here and uh, you can put your message inside the house and like this one okay and you can choose your your own decorations and that's for our craft time today to all the mothers happy mother's day and i hope your mom will be very happy with your craft today see you next time kids goodbye thank you boys and girls as we end today's episode May you always be reminded with the two attitudes God wants us to have towards our moms. And that is obey and honor. Thank you once again. This is Miss Mira from GCF Iloilo Kids Church Online. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home. Goodbye kids. See you next Sunday. Goodbye.